Miller. Today I want to update some information on the one night one dollar plan proposal to lure tourists back to Thailand. Please subscribe and hit notifications to keep informed. Under the proposed plan, participating operators will offer tourist room rates at a dollar per night for rooms typically to sell between oh, about a thousand to three thousand baht. This rate will be subsidized by the government. Explained by TKT President Shaman Siri that if the proposal is greenlit tourism players in Thailand, they will roll out the campaign to international markets. TCT also has discussed the idea with major wholesalers in online travel agents to prepare them for the reopening of Phuket. The TCT proposal has been submitted to the Tourism Authority of Thailand and the Ministry of Tourism and Sports and it will be escalated to the cabinet for approval in June. If Phuket's one night, one dollar campaign, private sector players and the government may expand the campaign to other destinations such as Koh Samui, Pattaya and Bangkok. The current wave of COVID infection could impact the final decision. But we have been suffering from the pandemic for 15 months now, and mass tourism will save us, Chapman said. Phuket is set to be the first city to reopen to tourists in July. Phuket is expected to welcome a half million tourists through the year end. Uh, Thailand received nearly 40 million visitors, generating 100 million baht in revenue. So needless to say, this is exciting news. Let us hope it goes through. Whether it goes for a dollar or not, we'll have to see but I feel you're going to see something good come out of this subsidy. I do not think they're going to completely disregard this proposal. Here's the thing. All these uh, Southeast Asian countries and tourism destinations around the world are going to be fighting to get tourists back. You don't just throw a switch and business is back to normal. The other countries of Southeast Asia closely watch what Thailand does. Thailand is one of the tourism leaders in the region, so it stands to reason that Thailand puts forward projects such as this. You're going to see other countries fall suit. We'll have to wait and see, but it's really an exciting idea. It is a legitimate idea that is under proposal by the Thai government right now, and we're going to have to see what comes out the other end. Like all ideas that go in one end of the government process, they always change and alter on their evolution to the final announcement. We might be surprised to see this program come out unaltered. Other countries in Southeast Asia need tourism back right now as soon as possible to help feed their economies. So let's just stay tuned to The Rusty Traveler and watch for more updates on this exciting new story. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your notifications to keep informed. Much more news to come.